Hey there, it's Jazz. You will be able to start an ATM business after watching this video because I will be breaking down how it works, the startup costs, the benefits, and what you can do if you end up not wanting the ATM business. And on top of that, I'll be breaking down how much profit you can actually make by owning an ATM business. Now, I know you want to start making money, so let's not waste any time and let's get to it. But if you are new to the channel, I do focus on making, saving, and growing your money. And I would be extremely grateful if you subscribed and hit the like button if I end up bringing you any value. With that being said, let's get to it. Now, before I give you how much it costs you to actually get the startup going, I want to break down exactly how this business works. If you want to be successful in the ATM business, you have to be able to find a location that is going to bring a lot of people in. That way, you can actually be able to get them to actually use your ATM. Now, the most successful ATM are in the bars, strip clubs, uh, barbershops, malls, and even small businesses. Once you find a location that you know people need cash in, you need to be able to negotiate with the business owner. That way you can put the ATM into their business. Once you negotiate with the business owner and you're able to get into contract, you can actually buy yourself an ATM. Once you're able to buy your ATM, you want to be able to also connect it to internet because it does need internet access to be able to get the transactions going going from one bank to the other, that way they can actually get their cash right there and not have to worry about it. And once all of that is done, you can start charging a fee which is called the subcharge where you can start charging $3 a transaction and that is where you make your money. Now personally, if I was starting an ATM business, I would use my profit to be able to do the cycle over and over and over again which will create a huge money monster. Now the hardest part when it comes to your ATM business is finding a good location where you know people actually need cash. Now that we got that out of the way, I want to start with how much it's actually going to cost you because then we'll talk about your profits, right? So for you to actually start up with this cost, you have two options. You can either buy an ATM that is new, which will cost you between $2,000 to eight thousand but a two thousand dollar atm is perfect especially if it's your first time but if you are someone who wants to be able to start and you don't have much cash i would rather you buy a used atm which will range between 1200 to 1800 but the thing here is if you end up not wanting to be into this atm business in the future you know that the atms actually hold their value for a really long time but here's the thing that you'll be missing if you buy a used atm instead of a new one the new ones usually come between a 12 month to 24 months of warranty free so if anything happens to your atm you will actually be able to get an atm uh, maintenance done without even having to pay another dime which is the whole goal and i don't want you to have any problems with your atm especially because if something happens to your atm that's one less day that you can actually make money out of it personally i will save up the two thousand dollars to get the new atm that way i don't have to worry about maintenance for a whole two years now on top of that you do also need to save up money for the cash that's going to be in the atm because every atm averages between six thousand to eight thousand dollars every single month so if you want to start you would most likely need a thousand five hundred dollars extra to be able to put that inside the atm that way when people use it they have cash ready to withdraw now personally i do recommend that you actually go to liberman uh they have a really good atm system on top of that they have an atm maintenance service so if something does happen to your atm and your warranty is over with they will actually be able to send their team over there and they'll actually fix it and you won't actually have to pay much on maintenance but i would recommend that you actually save between 200 to 500 dollars for any problems because ATMs do hold their value but something small can happen whether a button broke or a little bulb inside the ATM broke and that's okay things happen in life but with that being said keep some money on the side for maintenance now when it comes to your 1500 you'll be able to recover and get that back eventually when people start using it now it is known that people actually use an ATM between 6 to 30 a month and here's the thing uh, it depends where you actually put this ATM because if you put this ATM in a barbershop, you would get six customers. But if you put this into a, a bar or a strip club, you would get more than 30 customers. So I would recommend for you to actually think about which location would actually bring you the most customers because that's where you're going to get the most profit. And not to mention, it also depends on the state you are in, especially if you are in the middle of nowhere like Montana or if you're in California, New York, Arizona, 
Texas, there's many areas where you can actually go that you know there's going to be a lot of people in the area. Now, I also want you to keep in mind that this is a business, not a side hustle. So you will be able to actually get an LLC. That way you can also get into a contract with the business owner and you need a lawyer that way everything you do will be uh, perfect and you won't actually get sued for your atm business but please don't get scared with this part it's super simple all you need is between 300 to 500 dollars to be able to get the services and you'll be covered but not to mention there's so many perks with becoming a business owner because you're actually able to have a lot of tax write-offs especially with a business that can actually bring you a lot of money especially if you have a business owner who is willing to work with you and put all your ATMs in their locations not to mention if it's a strip club <laughs> now I've never been to a strip club but we all know that they do need a lot of cash to be able to give it to the strippers uh, <laughs> now if this is your first time actually doing an ATM business I would actually recommend that you do 50 50 with the business owner when you're going through contract and not to mention doing it monthly instead of yearly because it is your first time and you really don't have much experience with the whole business I would actually allow them to put your ATM in their business now personally I would do the Gary V method where you do 51 49 where they take 51 and you take 49 and I get it you put a lot of money into this but think about it you can always do business with them long term and eventually change up how much percentage they get from your ATM and you can eventually change it to 50 50 and then do 40 uh, 60 but we want to be careful not to uh, destroy this relationship because you can always be able to put other ATMs into other locations and be able to charge uh, more at the end of the day if this is your first time actually doing this business we want to be able to have a good start one dollar is better than zero now if you do want to know how much profit you will be making from any business I want you to ask the business owner is this one thing how many customers do they get per day that way you can have a good range of how much profit you will actually be making and the rule that I want you to do is at least 30 to 60 percent of those customers will be using the ATM so I want you to use 40 percent or 0 0.04 when multiplying how much customers go each day let's say that 150 people go to that business and only 40 percent actually take uh, account into using your ATM, you will most likely get between six to 10 people using the ATM. Now let's say that they do end up uh, having six people use that ATM and you get $3 for every transaction they use, you would actually get $500 of profit every single month. Now I do want you to keep in mind that that's the low end because like for example, a barbershop or a small business does have uh, smaller amounts of people coming into their business that's why I want you to pick a store that you know has a huge potential when it comes to cash and that would be a strip club a bar um, a coffee shop somewhere where you know or even in a college uh, campus many people need cash there too that's why I said the location is the hardest part when it comes to putting your ATM uh, to work but let's say that you actually put your uh, ATM into a strip club and the least amount of people that go there it would say 30 right so if you put 30 people and 30 of those use your ATM with a three dollar charge you'll be making about ninety dollars a day ninety dollars times 30 days is 2,700. Now imagine if you got 2,700 for one ATM and let's say that you actually invested into more ATMs in the future and you got three now. If you invested your money into creating more ATMs, you can actually have the potential of getting 8,100 every single month now i also want you to keep in mind that this is the low end when it comes to strip clubs because they too they do tend to have more than 30 people come in every single night but like i said it also depends on the location the state and where you put your atm and you have to also keep in mind that the average fee when people actually use your uh, atm is three dollars so what really um, matters is how many people are going to the store or the bar or wherever you locate your atm because at the end of the day if you really want to win in the atm business you can you just gotta be smart about where you put it now hopefully i did bring you some value and if you have any questions go ahead and leave it down in the comments i'll do my best to answer it and give you as much as information as I possibly can but I will say this please get a lawyer please get a contract between you and the business owner and do it monthly and of course 
please use your profits to reinvest into more ATMs. That way you can actually make more money in the long run than just getting a quick cash. Because let's think about it. If you only make $500 for one ATM, it's not really worth it. I want you to be able to create this whole business where you're located everywhere and you actually create this whole um, business to be able to live the life you want. Now, if I did bring you any value, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, but most importantly, remember, be someone that makes you happy.